Nathan Hunsinger, staff photographer Texas Longhorns defensive end Charles Omanehu, 90, safety Dylan Haynes, 14, and cornerback Devante Davis, 9, tackle West Virginia Mountaineers running back Kennedy McCoy, 4, in the second half at Daryl K. Royal the Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, November. 12, 2016, West Virginia Mountaineers won the game 24-20. Nathan Hunsinger, the Dallas Morning News, editor's note, this article published on Feb. 21, Texas's defense saw a dramatic turnaround in 2017, jumping over 60 spots and opponents' points per game from the previous season. Behind a stout defensive interior, the Longhorns ranked number two in the Big 12 in rush defense, swallowing up opposing running backs with ease. But things weren't completely rosy for Texas's defensive line. The burnt orange front often failed to generate a significant pass rush with no player accumulating more than four sacks throughout the season. Texas created pressure mainly via the blitz, with its front four struggling to make an impact in the passing game. So what should you expect from the Longhorns' defensive line in 2018? Here's our positional outlook, key Ritter knees. Malcolm Roach, Jr., 6-4, 270, Charles Omanehu, Sr., 6-7, 275, Chris Nelson, Sr., 6-3, 310, Taquin Graham, Sophomore, 6-4, 290, Key Losses, Puna Ford, Graduation, Newcomers. Key Andre Coburn, Houston, TX, 6-1, 329, Joseph Asai, Conroe, TX, 6-4, 220, Moro Jomo, Katie, TX, 6-3, 280, Biggest Unanswered Question Will an elite pass rusher emerge? Texas's defensive line struggled to bring the quarterback down in 2017, with Omenehu topping all linemen with four sacks. The next most productive Longhorn on the line was Roach, and he accumulated just two sacks in 12 games. Not exactly a prolific output. Defensive coordinator Todd Orlando generates much of his quarterback pressure from sending extra defenders into the backfield, but 2018 will prove whether his aggressive scheme was one built out of necessity. There's a chance Roach or Graham make a leap in up their sack production in 2018, but that's far from a sure thing for now. If Texas's defensive line fails to sack the quarterback once again this season, expect Orlando to feature blitz packages early and often. Why 2018 production could be better? Defensive line that proved stout against a number of quality opponents last year returns much of its core, losing only defensive tackle Puna Ford from the 2017 squad. After a mediocre sophomore campaign, Roach boasts the physical gifts to be one of the Big 12's elite linemen, while Omena who should build on his strong 2017. There's enough veteran talent on this defensive line to swallow opposing offenses. And don't forget about the kids, either. Graham showed sparks of being a threatening pass rusher late in the season, and Texas could even get production out of its incoming crop of freshmen. Osai could shine as an edge rusher, while defensive tackles Coburn and Ojomo project to be key pluggers in the middle in 2018 and beyond. Why 2018 production could be worse? Losing Ford won't do the Longhorns any favors. The 305-pound lineman was Texas's most consistent force inside last year, eating up holes all season. His production allowed linebackers Malik Jefferson and Brecken Tiger to attack the backfield with abandon, often creating one-on-one -on -one matchups for teammates while Ford drew double teams inside. With Ford gone, expect Nelson to see an expanded role. The Lakeland, Florida, product will take on a large share of snaps at defensive tackle, tasked with keeping the Longhorns' run defense afloat. 
If Nelson struggles to replicate Ford's production, Texas's defense could slip, especially against the run. Overall Outlook After losing just one starter from last year, this projects to be an impressive defensive line in 2018. should improve upon a lackluster 2017, and Omina who should be in the conversation for all conference honors when the season comes to a close. And if an underclassman has a leap between now and opening day, look out, Texas's depth at defensive line could be stronger than it's been since the Mac Brown era. This is a unit that will make its money in the run game. Opposing backs will have trouble gaining large chunks of yards inside, and Orlando has enough speed behind the defensive line to slow the run game down outside the hash marks. Don't hold your breath for large sack totals from the D-line, leave those to Texas's linebacking core, but the front four should still be a force in the face of opposing quarterbacks. Bottom line, expect a solid defensive line for the Longhorns in 2018, one that excels against the run. Twitter, Ed Mishab, two more positional outlooks LB, who will emerge as Malik Jefferson's replacement. DL, will a true sack master emerge? OL, who will replace Connor Williams? DB, will any freshman earn a starting nod? WR, Tay, Colin Johnson and a whole lot of uncertainty RB, will anyone emerge as the bell cow back? QB, will anyone unseat Sam Ellinger? Special teams, how will Longhorns adjust to life without Michael Dixon?